So now in this video we're going to look at the PMP Bipolar Junction Transistor 2N3906. We have it wired so the transistor basically turns on and thus the load, the LED, turns on when we get it dark enough. I can either cover with my finger or uh, turn the lamp off. The lowest setting of the lamp works pretty good too, right there. I'll turn the lamp back up. But uh, in any case, the way that uh, we have this uh, wired up PMP bipolar junction transistor, I made a similar uh, video with an NPN. I didn't review it though. There's probably uh, differences. But in any case, the 2N3904 NPN, I made a similar circuit. Now I'm using the PMP. Um, they'll be wired uh, basically the same except for the chemistries are opposite, which you got to be aware of. Uh, the, the current's going to flow in opposite directions through the transistor. So for the PMP, um, we'll uh, cover the uh, light dependent resistor. That means it's not conducting very well. So it's like covering it on the sheet there. And now we can see why the transistor is on. We have the emitter there. We're going to lose about 0.6 volts, um, but emitter to base there. And then we got the resistor. We got a current path right there. And that little amount of current there allows much more current to flow from emitter to collector. Hopefully the transistor is on better than what the load needs, um, but otherwise we got the LED drop and then 220 ohm of resistance and the 5 volts uh, sets the current when the transistor is on. Now, I removed my finger, you can see a light dependent resistor there. Um, it's conducting pretty good. We're getting uh, close to 5 volts at this point because it's probably quite a lot uh, less resistance than 15 kilo ohms right there. Um, so as long as it pulls it up above about uh, 4.4 .4 volts approximately you get above that point then there's not enough voltage difference for current to flow through the diode of the transistor there and so it just stops the current completely because there's not enough voltage no current from emitter to collector means there's no I mean emitter to base means there's no current from emitter to collector and the LED turns off as you see there so in any case uh, Pretty much everything else you see on here we covered in earlier videos, and this is my short video series, so we're going to end it there. Check out one of the other videos I post on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.